Hello, you genetically lord lumpfish with delusions of grandeur. It is I, your host, Tom of SG1, coming at you for another video. Yes, we're going to delve into DC collectibles. I'm going to go for the Dark Knight Rises 30th anniversary set. Now, aren't you know me, I don't do packaging. It's just an easy way of showing you, showing it all off at once. So, you get a four pack, you get the Joker, you get Batman, you get Superman, and you get Robin, and you get a bit of a street. Yes. So yeah, there it is. So um, yeah, as packaging goes, it's very, very basic to be perfectly honest. It tells you what's in it. Dark Knight Returns, 30th anniversary of Dark Knight Returns. Uh, if you've not read it, Frank Miller's epic made Batman cool again. Um, there's some other sets you can get. You can get um, Dark Knight Returns, Superman, Batman, and then Dark Knight Returns Call to Arms, which is on on the back. And basically, this is what you get in this set here. So, and that's the other two sets there. Now, I found this at B&M Bargains for $19.99. Now, I believe the Big Bad Toy Store was retailing this for about 50 bucks, which is about 40-odd quid, 45 quid, thereabouts. So, for 20 quid, I was like, fucking mine, dude, mine. So, if I'd have been fucking smart, I'd have got a couple of these, and then, you know... You know, sat on them for a while, but there you go. Anyway, yeah, so that's the Dark Knight Return, Dark Knight Return set. Um, join me after a break, after the break, and we'll have to take a closer look. Ah, there we go. So, yes, we're doing the um, second part of this video. So we've got, you know, I'm not usually a packaging guy. I just thought I'd show you the packaging off a bit clearer this time. Um, yeah, so we've got... Um, was it Cassie Kelly? Um, the name escapes me, I'm probably wrong. I'll, I'll put it here. Uh, we got Superman, we got Batman, and we got the Joker. Um, like I say, there's the packaging. Um, I don't usually show the packaging off. It's the 30th anniversary of The Dark Knight Returns. I think this set came out in 2018, I want to say. Um, do you know what? It doesn't fucking say anywhere. Usually there's a date on it, but it doesn't fucking say. Nothing on there. <clears throat> and then on the back, quite minimal packaging actually. And these are the sets you can get. Of course, this is this set. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you've got Dark Knight Returns, Call to Arms, where he's on a horse. And then you've got Superman, Batman, Dark Knight Returns, Batman, and Superman there. Um, this is more of a sort of, um, you know, um, diorama piece than it is anything else. So we'll, we'll crack the box open and we'll take a closer look. So everything you get in this set, you get a Joker, you get a Robin, you get a Superman, and you get a Batman. And you get a collection of bits as well. So we'll look at these in a moment. Well, I'll explain what these are in a little bit. Uh, and we're going to take a closer look at the figures. So, do you know what? We'll take, we'll take all these out and we'll have a look at Robin first. Is it Cassie Kelly? I'm sure I'm saying, I'm sure it's wrong. So we'll put the light on and we'll have a closer look. One second. There we are. Is the light on? No, I don't think the light is on. Um, there we are. That's it. So, there is Cassie Kelly in all the glory there. Um, it's a nice sculpt. However, the, they do have problems. I'm going to go for the worst ones first and stuff like that. I'll just drop some of it, never um, So, yeah, <clears throat> we'll take a closer look. Um, as you can see, it's quite a nice face sculpt, except the glasses look a bit silly. I mean, you can take those off if you, if you want. Um, that's... What another thing that comes with? But she's got a really weird face sculpt. I don't know if that's just me. I've just been beaten up, but she's got a really strange face. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the sculpt. Maybe it's bit. I mean, it is based on the comics, but you know, I don't remember her being a face being. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't remember her face being quite like that. So we'll put the glasses back on, um, or goggles or whatever. Uh, we can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, oh, no, do you know what, we'll leave them off for now. Um, yeah, so she's got a real nice, um, bodysuit, it's your traditional Robin, you know, your red suit, your Robin, you you are there, your green sleeves, green, um, gloves, um, sort of like you've got your, and then you've got your Robin Hood type booties, and you've got a small little cape. Um, yeah, now, terms of articulation on this one. Now, this is the problem with this whole set. I'll get onto them in a moment. But this is the problem with the whole set. Her legs don't move very far. That's it. There's not, nothing at the knees. Her arms will rotate 360 at the shoulder. Nothing at the elbow. So she's in this weird pose. I'll get onto that in a minute. 
Same with this arm, goes up and goes down, and then head will go left and right. But it's sculpted in a really strange position. All right, oh, come on, why are you doing what you're told? There we are. It's sculpted in a really sort of on an angle. Um, it, 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 just a bit, just a bit odd. Just a really bit, really, just a, <coughs> excuse me, I can't even talk today. It just seems like it's just in a real weird position. Um, like I say, she does come with, she does come with, um, I say, her glasses, which go on sort of reasonably well. Once they're on, they're on, but they're kind of, kind of weird looking. So she looks, so she's got that kind of look going on to it with her. Come on, there we go. Yeah, oh, got bits of, bits of packaging on the end there. Bit of sticky, why is that? Yeah, and she comes with an accessory. She comes with a um, a catapult. It's got some nice sculpting on it, but it's just a catapult really, with it with an actual bit of stretchy string on it, which is quite nice. So sorry, all that banging around is just uh, just outside. Just the it's a bit windy, so the the fences are just creaking outside. Um, she holds it in. A, she can only hold it in one hand, and it's very awkwardly sculpted, as you can see there. Um, now you put that in. Like that. But like I said, she don't really hold on to it very well. Ugh. And then you've got to try and position it. And she's got a finger moulded there. So she can put, you know, so she can hold the catapult like that. But it's real awkward. Because you can't, oh, she's got wrist articulation. Do you know what? I never even knew that. Well, holy crap. Um, like I said, I've only ever played with these once. I've only got them out of the box once or twice. I never even knew that. So you can sort of position it around her finger, I guess. And you can do that. But she can't really aim it very well. It kind of looks a bit awkward. You know? Um, it's a shame, really, because the actual sculpt of the figure is very nice. Apart from its flaws. If it was a properly sculpted figure, it'd be great. Um, so, yeah. So that's Robin. We'll put her over there. And we'll have a look at the other West figure. Um, we'll have a look at Joker here. Again, he suffers from the same problem. He is weirdly sculpted. I mean, yes, it does emulate the. Um, there we are. It does emulate the comics um, quite nicely, um, but he, but he just he's weird. He's, he's there's some heft to him. He's really heavy, but again, it's his you know awkward position of his face. You know the way his neck's sculpted, so you can only stand him in really one pose. I think that's the whole idea. Um, and like I said, the sculpt on his face is absolutely fantastic. It looks like the comics. Um, almost perfect, you know? They've recreated the look. Um, and the hair sculpting is really nice. And he's got this really cool pinstripe suit. And just large black pants and these um, like Cuban heels, I want to say. Those are. I'm not sure. I don't know men's shoes very well. I know trainers and that's about it. Um, yeah, she's so got some real nice head... Uh, you know, some sculpting on his back of his head there. So you've got these, not only have you got the green, you've got this little wash of yellow on top of it. So it sort of, sort of highlights certain areas. And we'll zoom this back out. But in terms of articulation though, his head will do that, and that is about it. So you can rotate his head, yeah, about there. You can rotate this arm 360 at the shoulder, but it's real awkward, it's real weird, you know. This arm will move outward at the shoulder. He does have a little bit of waist, but that's it. He can only have one pose. I mean, if you used a diorama piece you're after, then fair dues. I mean, he comes with two um, pistols. I think they're both the same, I think, yeah, both the same. Very nicely sculpted. Um, like I said, I'll just show you the one, because they're both the same. Um, it's got real nice sculpted detail on there. Um, sort of over stylized as well. I mean, there's no real gun that actually looks like this. Um, you've got the clip there. You've got the uh, grip. You've got the safety on that side. I think that's the safety. Um, and then you've got the hammer at the top. So these guns are going to ruin your day. Um, and you can hold on to them. So you can hold... So he's got moulded hands to hold a gun with his little pinky finger sticking out. Because, you know, that's what the Joker does. And so you can hold his guns quite nicely. Um, where's the other one? So you can put the gun in his hand thus. Um, oh, he's got wrist articulation. Well, fucking hell, they've both got wrist articulation. I never knew. Has he got this side? No, he hasn't got it that side, but he's got it this side. Well, that's new. Never didn't even know that. <laughs> so he kind of he can kind of have a pose where he's 
sort of gesturing with this gun and then maybe pointing his gun at a victim there. You know what I mean? Um, but I mean, the figure, the sculpt looks great. Um, but just as a figure, um, I think it is severely lacking. Um, so yeah, so there's the Joker. Um, we'll get on to Batsy. Now, again, Batman suffers from the same problem. He's got a lot more articulation, but the problem is, is he's sculpted in such a way he can only stand in one pose. So the articulation kind of seems a bit pointless. So, I mean, he's got a nice face sculpt. Let's have a look at that noggin. There he is. He's got a really nice face sculpt. I mean, in the story, he's, you know, an aging Batman. I think he's about 55 in the comic. It's been a while since I've read it, actually. And you can see he's properly buffed to a point where I think his suit is a little bit too tight. And he's got these all nice um, crinkles in his, in his uniform there. Nice big bat symbol across his chest. This is what Ben Affleck Batman was supposed to be based on. Um, then you've got a nice utility belt with all different buckles and different pockets and that it runs all the way around the back as well which is really nice um, nice scape just just that was soft rubber basically um, nice sculpt um, and then he's and then he's got some really nice things going on in his legs there you've got some again sort of bunching up at the clothes around his crotch area there um, and again around his calves and then he's got some boots see what I mean about his weird Feet, I'll get onto that in a minute. But in terms of articulation, oh, that zoomed right in. I thought I'd zoomed in. Yeah, there's take a look at his face. Now, that is a really cool face sculpt. You can see he's, he's getting on, you know, he's got the sort of geriatric lines coming in, you know, um, and he's got the small bat ears. I like the long bat ears personally, but, but but it's a really damn good comic. If you get the chance to read it, read it. So, yeah, um, so in terms of articulation, then, um, and let's move it right out. There we go. Um, so you can see what I'm doing. So his head, again, it's moulded in a real weird way, so you can only look in certain directions. You kind of get that movement out of him. It's like, what? What's that up there? And it's like, squirrel. You know? It's like, squirrel. And then, what? You know? He's ro he can rotate at the shoulder, mm, 360. He can move it out slightly, move it in. He can bend at the uh, elbow there. Uh, and, oh, and he's got waist articulation. He's got wrist articulation. Look at all. You're learning something new every day. This side, yeah, this side's got wrist as well. He can't rotate, he can't rotate at the waist. His legs can a little bit go in and out, as you can see there. He can move it forward, move it back, bend at the knee. But it's pointless because the way his feet are moulded, I'll have to show it to you. You've got to position him in such a way that he can stand. Yeah, let's show you. Like that. That's the only leg position you can put him in. Um... You know, it's it's real weird the way they've done this. Um, and he comes with a batarang uh, with a bit of line on it. Uh, the batarang's pretty cool. But he can't hold it, which is a bit of a fucking gem. I mean, he's, he's, this this hand is a, a solid fist, so you can punch somebody in the nose. And then this hand is kind of a really awkward... Um, yeah, let me zoom it in a bit more so you can see. He's got a really awkward um, sculpt in there. Um yeah, he's got really awkward sculpts. And you can see like the twist in the in the in the glove there, which is quite cool. I mean sculpt wise, these things are absolutely fantastic. Um but I think just the overall kind of um Oh come on. See he can't hold his batarang. Oh, there you go. You just gotta kinda of jam it in and hope for the best, you know? So you can put his batarang batarang in there and he's ready for ready for action. There we go. He's got to kind of jam it in there, so it's not really good. And there's Batman in his in his in his glory, I guess, because like I say, you can't really position him other than that. That's the best pose you're going to get out of him. So we'll move him out of the way. And then we come to the best figure in the set, which is Old Kal-el himself, Mr. Superman. And check out that face sculpt. That is a one pissed off Superman. Um, I love his hair. It's kind of Egon Spenglery. It's very nice. Um, yeah, he's got the big spit curl there, which is quite cool. Uh, and then you've got the lovely Superman S on his chest. And you've got all the um, muscles and that coming through his costume there. And you've got a little bit of paint wear just in there, which is a bit of a shame. I've only just noticed that. But you can do that and hide it. That's fine. Um, yeah, traditional Superman costume. A little bit dulled than normal. Nice big booties. Um, but like I said, this, this Superman is the only one that stands very well. And he's got the lovely Superman S on his cape there. Again, another nice rubbery cape. Um, 
But like I said, in terms of articulation on Superman, let's zoom it out so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. His head can just about do look that way and look that way, you know. Um, his arms can move in and out a little bit. They've got a little bit of rotation there as well. He can bend at the elbow, nothing at the wrist, um, nothing at the waist. His legs can not do a beautiful spread at all. He can move backwards a little bit, bend at the knee, and that is your lot. But as a figure, he's the best one of the bunch. You know, you can kind of... Oh, you can't even do that. You can't even get him to do the hands-on-hips pose. I think that's the best you can get. I mean, he's... A, like I say, out of the set, Superman here is the best one. But unfortunately, the way he's sculpted, like with all the figures... <coughs> excuse me. They don't really lend themselves to posing very well. But, I mean, that is a... That is a really nice Superman figure. Um, so, yeah. So... We'll take a look at the accessories you get with the set. So basically you get like a street scene and you get a bit of street, basically. Um, it's like a bit of a curb, you know. Um, but I mean, you can position this any way you want. You can take these out, I'm not going to, but basically you've got a little clip here and you can unclip this bit and then you can rearrange them any which way you like. You know, it all in one go or I prefer this sort of look. And you've got some peg holes on there. So, I guess you can place them really any way you want, um, but we'll sort that in a second. You also get a street light, which is basically just a fucking street light. <laughs> what can you say? Um, it's a green thing, and you got like a. I think it's supposed to be, you know, like a zebra crossing maybe. Um, and then you get the top end of it, which is this bit. Um, it actually glows in the dark. This bit, it's quite cool. Um, so yeah, um, it just fits together. Thus, there we go. I have to zoom that out because it's quite a large thing. Zoom that out, and it's fucking street light, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's all it does. Uh, I mean, the, the idea is you can put it behind there, and then it sort of sets the scene up, scene up sort of. Um, let's set the scene up, shall we? Um, right, let's set the scene up. So, I mean, you can position these characters, these these figures. Anywhere you like. So we'll put Joker over here. And we'll put him there. Oh, that's a strong connection. Yeah, so he can stand there. And then we'll put Batman here. You know. Uh, there we go. Just position his feet and try and get him in a good pose. But you can't really, unfortunately. So we'll put Batman there. And we'll put Robin here. Because she's only got one uh, peg. So she can only go in one hole. So we'll put her here. Uh, forgot to mention, she's got a rubbery cape too. So there we, there's that. And then we can put all soups. Again, they've only got one, um, you know, one thing in the front. And you've got some legal conflun shuffling on his foot there. Um, and you can place him on the end. Like, when I can do it. Ooh, that was a horrible noise on the end, like so. Uh, and then we've got the set of them all together. Now, as a, as a diorama piece, it looks really cool, actually. It looks really cool. Um, in fact, I might be able to move Joker a bit there. Yeah, so, I mean, as a diorama piece, it's a very nice set. But for actual figures, and I do know they sold these separately at one stage, but for actual figures that you want to play, play with... Yeah, they're not that good. But for, for a diorama, like I said, for a diorama piece, they are fantastic. Um, like I said, Superman is the best one of the bunch. Um, now, I believe this set retailed for, I think, what, 50 quid, I think. And I found it in B&M for 19.99, And I went, fucking mine. Um, and I'm glad I've bought it. Don't get me wrong, I am glad I've bought it. I think it's just, it suffers from, um, you know... Lack of posability. If the if the figures were a little bit more posable, I think this would be a fantastic set. Other than that, it gets a solid seven for me. I mean, I'm not like great at grading them like that, but I think this is this. It's a good set. Could be better. So thank you for watching Batman Dark Knight Returns. Um, check out my Patreon. Cool rewards over there. Check them out. Um, check out my other playlists here. I don't know what all this will go in. I think just toys. 
uh, toy reviews will go in this one. And if you like what I do, why not like, share and subscribe, which will be here. So, I will catch you all very, very soon, my lovelies. And a big shout out to my Patreon, uh, Melissa Writer. Without you, um, I couldn't get the, uh, the, lights, the lights stay on and... and um, and you contribute, your contribution means so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will catch you all very soon. Bye for now.